Hi there. Thanks so much for joining us. It is Tuesday. It's February the 4th. Why are you pointing at me like that? It's all her fault. Really? It's, it's all my bad fault? news and it's all her fault. I just wanted to point that out right off the bat. Significant winter storm <sighs> on the way starting tonight, moving in through your day tomorrow. It's going to be a mess, but you know what? It's a good old Canadian winter. We love the snow. And it's forming up in Texas. Yeah, as we speak. <laughs> So there you go. It's, it's forming up in Texas. It's on its way to Canada pressure. from our friends in the United States. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Tom, yes? you're going to lose privileges in a minute. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at our current temperatures. Mm -hmm. uh, it's cold. We're so it's looking lovely uh, today. But we do have snow on the way. This is going to start tonight. We're looking at the, the biggest impact is going to be in between kind of midnight to noon tomorrow. Mm. And, I mean, we're seeing widespread snowfall amounts close to 15 centimeters through the city of Oakville. In through Toronto, we could see 5 to 15 centimeters and down towards Niagara and Hamilton. 25, not out of the question. Yeah, it's uh, by this afternoon, uh, you know, it's going to start into this evening. And then, of course, uh, tomorrow morning commute could be nasty. All right, well, yesterday was a good day. We saw some sunshine. It was beautiful. If you write hard to shovel, icy still, uh, snow that's on the way. Are we going to do this now, John, or am I going to do it when I come back? All right, we're doing this now. All right, okay, so here comes the snow. This is going to start by 10 o'clock tonight for the GTA, continue through midnight, early morning hours. This is the messy commute that Tom was just mentioning. The bulk of the moisture falling in between midnight and noon. It's not going to be an incredible snow ratio per hour, but it's going to be a lot of snow um, to begin with. Moves out by Wednesday afternoon, but the Wednesday evening commute is still going to be incredibly tricky because, of course, we're going to have 15 centimeters of snow on the ground, and it's going to be cold. It's going to be windy. Our winds are going to be gusting at about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. So that's going to cause blowing and drifting snow and poor visibility on many of the roads. We'll talk about more in your long range in just a moment. But first, here's Tom. Yes. All right. Well, tomorrow we're looking at minus 5, feeling like minus 12. But of course, we're going to have a lot of snow on the ground. Minus 6 for Thursday, minus 9 for Friday, feeling like minus 18. That's going to be the coldest day of the week, but at least we're going to see a return to sunshine. And then we've got a little bit more snow in the forecast for Saturday into Sunday. Good morning. We are in Stormwatch. It's Tuesday. It is the 4th of February. Groundhog Day signified the midway point of winter, and it looks as though winter is not going anywhere yet. Have we been out of Stormwatch since November? I think we've yes. been in non-stop storm watch. It's incredible. It just keeps on coming and coming and more on the way. Well, temperatures this morning, they're cold, especially in some areas. We're looking at minus 11 through the city of Toronto. We're so you're looking at minus 5 this afternoon, but sunny. I know. I could honestly skate down my street. Not like on the street, but on the sidewalk, yeah, especially because yeah. it melts on people's driveways. The water runs down and then it just kind of pools on the sidewalk and you could just kind of well, get a we little. Bought, we bought spikes and, and studs for our shoes this year. Really, we did. And yeah, they, made, they, <laughs> they are huge. Like they make a big, big difference to walking around in this ice. I believe it. Well, let's take a look at some of the sunshine and the thaw from yesterday. We saw a daytime high of minus four. So over. Now, big system on the way. This Texas low is going to draw a lot of moisture from the Gulf, and it is going to be bringing us significant snow. Do you remember this time yesterday we were saying, okay, it's track dependent. The further north it tracks, the more snow we're going to see. The further south it tracks, the less snow we're going to see. Well, unfortunately for us, who don't love commuting in snow, which is most people, uh, it's moved a little further north. So... The snow is going to develop around 10 o'clock tonight. It is going to develop through the GTA between 10 and midnight, and then it's just going to continue for the next 12 hours. So tomorrow morning's commute, it's going to be a tricky one. We have got snow on the ground, and not only that, we're going to be seeing winds that are going to be sustained at about 30 to 40 kilometers an hour, gusting 50 to 60. So you've got fresh snow. It is going to be that light, fluffy snow, so easy to shovel, but it's going to blow around, causing whiteout conditions. And this is just going to make tomorrow morning, ugh, it's going to be gross to be outside. Let's just put it that way. The good news is that it moves out quite quickly. We are going to be seeing a clearing trend by late day Wednesday, but it's still going to be affecting your Wednesday evening commute because we're going to have 15 to 25 centimeters of snow on the ground. So the hardest hit areas stretch from Oakville through Hamilton through Niagara. That QEW stretch um, 
it's going to be it's going to be awful. Uh, 10 to 15 centimeters for Guelph uh, through the city of Toronto, Oshawa, and then as you move further north, that's where you're going to see less snow. So it's one of those different types of scenarios. We'll talk about the remainder of the long range. We'll get you into the weekend in just a moment. But first, here's Tom with traffic. Well, it is going to be cold tomorrow. We're looking at minus 5, feeling closer to minus 12 when you factor in that wind, and then minus 6 for Thursday, feeling like the minus team. Friday is going to be certainly the coldest day of the week, minus 9, feeling like minus 18. As we get closer to the weekend, we do have a little bit more snow on the way Saturday and into Sunday. Another day, another bashing. Coming up, the stormy weather in the United Kingdom. Like a cannon blast. Make that several cannon blasts. We'll get to those stories in just a minute. But first, we are in storm watch as a system from the U.S. moves in. The calm before the storm had us enjoying sunny blue skies yesterday. Hit. Within the next 20 minutes, I'll tell you how it's going to play out as storm watch continues. To Ecuador now, where people 140 kilometers away said this volcano sounded like a cannon. Ten cannons, to be exact. That's how many explosions were counted on Monday. But it was mostly noise and ash, plenty of ash. A cloud shot up four kilometers. Now that's unlike Saturday, when a series of explosions were followed by ash and lava flow. Floods were expected, and that's what happened after wind and high tide combined along the western coast of the UK. Pumps are going to get flawed water off a stretch from Devon and Cornwall into Wales. In 2006, Wyerton Willey predicted an early spring. What he didn't say is before that, there would be record-breaking snow. More on that in this look back in weather history. Between them. Stormwatch coverage continues. Now here's Tom with traffic. Some areas are certainly a lot colder this morning than others. Throughout Hamilton, we're looking at minus 12, Toronto minus 11, and through Kitchener minus 15. And through Orangeville, we're looking at minus 14, and up through Barrie minus 13. I think the silver lining here is that we are going to be seeing lots of sunshine throughout the day today, which is good news because we do have a winter storm on the way that's going to be fairly significant for the GTA tonight and into tomorrow. Where? We are in Stormwatch. It's Tuesday, it is February the 4th, it's cold, and we have got an impending winter storm on the way for Southern Ontario. We're so excited. It's, it's exciting around here when there's a storm approaching. I mean, everybody bread and butter out there, I know you, a lot of you hate it, but <laughs> uh, around here, everybody gets very hyped up. Absolutely. Sure. Well, we've got cold temperatures to start off this morning. We're looking at temperatures, well, around the minus teens for some areas, minus 20s for others. Burr. We're looking at minus 11 through Toronto. Here. So we'll probably see a little bit of melting going on here and there as we did yesterday, but uh, still, it's going to be, uh, well, nasty coming in tomorrow morning. Funny story. Mm -hmm. Tom just took the reindeer off his roof yesterday. Yeah. It's it's February the 4th. Well, I know. It's but February the I 4th. I took the tree down a couple of weeks ago now, so it sits down. And it actually lasted very well. But anyway, nonetheless, I took the reindeer down because they were Why? In, because there was so much ice on them that they might have broken. They so, were you know, to I didn't want to have so I had to climb up and actually undo them, bring them down. Did you wear your ice spikes? Uh, actually, I didn't, but I should have probably. Should have. <laughs> anyway, I didn't fall off. There's uh, lots of support up there. Okay, well, yesterday was a nice day for taking the reindeer off your roof. <laughs> Tommy puts his reindeer up in October and takes them down in February. It's a, it's a long Christmas season for Tom's house. Oh, oh. <laughs> It was beautiful yesterday. If you were able to get out and enjoy some of the sunshine, we were looking at minus four, so pretty decent daytime high. Uh, we do have this impending storm. Sorry, I just had to grab my clicker on the way, and it is going to start to impact the GTA in between 10 and midnight tonight. So prepare yourself for this because tomorrow morning's commute, yucky. It's going to be gross. It's going to be very slippery. It is going to be... Um, well, you could be dealing with poor visibilities because our winds are going to be sustained at about 40 to 50 kilometers an hour, gusting upwards of 60 kilometers an hour in some areas. The lake enhancement is going to be a bit of an issue. Our winds are going to shift direction. So we've got, you know, uh, 
Snowfall for areas as far north as Orangeville, like that's where we're really going to be impacted anywhere south of that. But because of the northeasterly winds coming off of the lakes, we are going to be seeing enhancement around Hamilton and in through Niagara. Oakville also right on the cusp of this, 15 to 25 centimeters. That's a good amount of snow. The good news about this snow is that it's light and fluffy, so it's easy to shovel. The bad news about this snow is that it's light and fluffy. So when you've got winds as strong as we're going to have, gusting up to 50, it's gonna be blowing around, causing poor visibility on the roads for tomorrow morning and for tomorrow night. For more details on your long range, we'll get you closer to the weekend in just a moment, but first here's Tom with traffic. So as we get closer to the weekend, it stays cold. Tomorrow, with all that snow, we're looking at minus 5, feeling like minus 12. By Thursday, we're looking at minus 6, Friday minus 9, but look at the wind. It's going to feel closer to minus 18. So we've got a huge snowstorm, and then we've got cold temperatures behind it. By the weekend, we've got a little bit more snow for Saturday and into Sunday. Temperatures still staying quite cold. It's going to feel like the minus double digits when you factor in the wind. The only Like a cannon blast. Make that several cannon blasts. We'll get to those stories in just a minute. But first, we are in storm watch as a system from the U.S. moves in. The calm before the storm had us enjoying sunny blue skies yesterday. Who is expected to take the biggest hit within the next 20 minutes? I'll tell you how it's going to play out as storm watch continues. To Ecuador now, where people 140 kilometers away said this volcano sounded like a cannon. Ten cannons, to be exact. That's how many explosions were counted on Monday. But it was mostly noise and ash, plenty of ash. A cloud shot up four kilometers. Now that's unlike Saturday, when a series of explosions were followed by ash and lava flow. Floods were expected, and that's what happened after wind and high tide combined along the western coast of the UK. Pumps are going to get flawed water off a stretch from Devon and Cornwall into Wales. In 2006, Wyerton Willey predicted an early spring. What he didn't say is before that, there would be record-breaking snow. More on that in this look back in weather history. Stormwatch coverage continues. Now here's Tom with traffic. Our Stormwatch coverage continues on the snowstorm that's going to be moving in through the GTA starting tonight and continuing tomorrow. And we'll talk about snowfall totals and how this is really going to impact us in just a few moments. But first, I want to take a look back at yesterday. It was such a gorgeous day. We saw tons of sunshine. Temperatures were relatively mild. We got up to a daytime high of minus four. Our average for this time of year is minus two. So we weren't far off. We did see tons of sunshine. It was great. And on that note, we're going to take a look back at January. Now, on average, our temperature is usually about minus 1.5. So far this year, uh, minus 4.6. That was our average temperature. Rainfall is interesting. We've only received about 60 millimeters of rain. We only did receive 60 millimeters of rain in January, where our average is 25 millimeters. And then look at the snowfall totals. They're really not that far off. Average is 29.5. We received 32 centimeters of snow, so a little bit more than what we're used to. Uh, but I mean, overall, January wasn't an awful month for people that love winter. Speaking of loving winter, are we dealing with a classic winter? Yes, I believe we are. <laughs> Temperature was below minus 18 10 times in January. It was so cold. A lot of people really needed to bundle up. Now, it was only uh, below minus 18 once in the winter of 2012, 2013. Interesting fact, it was warm. Uh, zero times in 2011 and 2012. Snow on the ground since December 9th. It's a long time for us to see snow on the ground. And I think that's why many people are feeling like this winter has been exceptionally long, even though we still have about six more weeks left. Sometimes we don't get snow until March. Remember that year? Yeah, it happens.
Speaking of snow on the ground, <laughs> we've got more on the way. I know I'm just a bundle of great news today, aren't I? Okay, well, widespread amounts, I mean, they're pretty substantial. Anywhere kind of north of the 401, we're not going to be seeing epic amounts of snow. Remember the last storm that we just had over the weekend? Some areas just north of the 401, that was kind of the heaviest hit, like Angus and through Fergus and through uh, Orangeville and Newmarket. Everybody got hit really hard, but anything south of that kind of got away with low snow totals because, I mean, we still picked up about a 11 centimeters at Pearson uh, in areas around Oakville, but we saw rain. And so that actually brought our snow totals down. But what's happening now is that this large Texas low, it's tracking its way south or north rather and east. And the kind of heaviest hit bullet is going to be the Toronto, uh, Hamilton, St. Catharines, Niagara region. And that's because of lake enhancement. It's really going to be coming off of the lake. So we've got northeasterly winds. So that is going to make um, our snowfall amounts quite substantial, 15 to 25 centimeters. This is going to be impacting your morning commute and your afternoon commute. Reason being, light fluffy snow. It's going to be blowing around. Winds are going to be gusting anywhere between 50 and 60 kilometers an hour. So that could be causing for whiteout conditions. It's not going to be a good travel day tomorrow. Let's just put it that way. Speaking of travel, here's Tom with traffic. Hi there. Good morning. Our storm watch coverage continues. We have got a winter storm on the way. About 25 centimeters possible. We thought we'd stay in Stormwatch all winter long and bring you storm after storm just and to make your life complete. We've had snow on the ground since December 9th. Oh, man. And it just doesn't melt away. No, it's not going anywhere. We've got Kevin. He's joining us live in Oakville, Ontario this morning. And Kevin, it is all about the impending storm. And we've got crews that are going to be really busy today treating those roads. Thanks, Kevin. Well, this large Texas... Texas low is going to be picking up a lot of moisture from the Gulf. It'll start to impact southern Ontario in between about, well, 10 and midnight. That's more specifically for the GTA. It is going to continue through the day, and then by Wednesday afternoon into the evening, it will start to ease. So it may not be snowing during your evening commute, but these northeasterly winds are going to be blowing this light, fluffy snow around. It's great for shoveling. It's awful for windy conditions. We've got wind gusts about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. So expect to see kind of whiteout conditions on some of your drive, especially down towards the Niagara, Hamilton, St. Catharines area, where we're going to see the heaviest amount of snow. We're in line for about 15 to 25 centimeters through some of those areas. Oakville, we're right on the cusp of that 15 to 25. So 15, not out of the question. And through the city of Toronto and in through Guelph and Kitchener, through Waterloo, 10 to 15. And then if you go further north than that, we're looking at about 5 to 10. So a big difference in the system over the weekend where areas north of the 401 got that heavier bullet. It's now areas to the south that are going to see more snowfall. We'll talk about your weekend in just a few moments, but first here's Tom with traffic. Okay, well tomorrow it's going to stay quite cool. We're at minus 5. It's going to feel like minus 12. And then we've got minus 13 as a wind chill for Thursday. Friday is going to be the coldest day. It's going to feel closer to minus 18 when you factor in that wind. Chilly. Now over the weekend we could get clipped by a system moving through Atlantic Canada. So Sunday we could certainly be seeing some light snow. Our storm watch coverage continues. We do have an impending storm moving into tonight and into tomorrow. Somebody actually tweeted me, Tom, that the joke was over. Hey, that's what they said. Emily, joke's over. That's it. I'm looking for that groundhog. I'm with them. <laughs> I am with them, and uh, I've got a backhoe going out there, and we're going to dig that baby right up. Poor Wired to Willie, Poor run! Wired, his, run his, Wired his burrow is going to be in big trouble. <laughs> It'll be a big pit. Oh, well, you know, it is still winter, according to the calendar. Oh, I know. We've got Kevin. He's joining us live in Oakville this morning. Kevin, doing your best to stay warm, because even though we do have a storm on the way, temperatures right now are really cold. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Kevin. Well, we do have cold temperatures today, and we've got snow on the way tonight. This is going to be mostly impactful for the GTA around 10 p.m. to midnight, and then it's going to continue. So the bulk of our snowfall is going to be from 12 midnight tonight till about noon tomorrow. It is going to stay relatively south, and when I say relatively south, I mean south of Orangeville. Anywhere north of that, yes, you're going to see some snow. It's just not going to be substantial amounts. This system is going to track through to the east when 
Wednesday during the day. By Wednesday evening, it'll be out, but we'll still have significant winds and lake enhancement. We're going to switch to northeasterly winds, and that is going to bring the St. Catharines, Niagara, Hamilton area the heaviest amount of snow. So yes, you're going to see a lot of snow from the actual system, but then they're going to see lake enhancement pick up, so it's going to continue through the evening. The snow is going to be light. It's going to be fluffy. It's going to be easy to shovel. Yay, good news. But because it's going to be light, it's going to be blowing around with wind gusts of about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. Bad for driving. Really bad for your morning and your evening commute. Widespread snow totals look like this. We'll get into your weekend forecast in just a few moments. But first, here's Tom with traffic. I think that gentleman summed it up rather eloquently. It's a pain in the... It is. And up here... And back here and all over. Uh, right now, let's go and have a look at traffic. And it's going to be a pain in the... Well, it is going to be cold tomorrow while we're seeing this snow. Minus 5, feeling like minus 12, so you'll need to bundle, especially with those winds. Now, for Thursday, we see the sunshine return, and then Friday, it's going to be the coldest day of the week. We're looking at wind chills, making it feel closer to minus 18. Saturday, Sunday, we do have a little bit more snow on the way. Saturday looks good for outdoor activities, but then Sunday, we could get clipped by a system moving towards Atlantic Canada. Like a cannon blast. Make that several cannon blasts. Who is expected to take the biggest hit within the next 20 minutes? I'll tell you how it's going to play out as Stormwatch continues. To Ecuador now, where people 140 kilometers away said this volcano sounded like a cannon. Ten cannons, to be exact. That's how many explosions were counted on Monday. But it was mostly noise and ash, plenty of ash. A cloud shot up four kilometers. Now that's unlike Saturday, when a series of explosions were followed by ash and lava flow. Floods were expected, and that's what happened after wind and high tide combined along the western coast of the UK. Pumps are going to get flawed water off a stretch from Devon and Cornwall. In 2006, Wyerton Willie predicted an early spring. What he didn't say is before that, there would be record-breaking snow. More on that in this look back in weather history. Tim. Stormwatch coverage continues. Now here's Tom with traffic. Hi there, good morning. It is Tuesday, the 4th of February. Our Stormwatch coverage continues. And you know how all morning long you've been saying, well, we've been in Stormwatch since November? We have. <laughs> this is why you're feeling this way. We haven't, but this is why you're feeling this way. Yeah. Because six out of the last eight weekends, right. we have been in Stormwatch. Well, there you go. My point, exa <laughs> my point exactly. I mean, it's nonstop Stormwatch, and, and we just not November. They keep on coming and coming and coming. And you said that it's the 4th. It is the 4th. I wish it was May the 4th, and then I could say May the 4th be with you. That's the only reason? Yeah, well, anyway, I just thought I'd say it. I'm looking forward to May the 4th, actually. <laughs> okay. I guess everybody else is, too. No, a lot of people are embracing no, this. They're no, they're not. Kevin not really. joins us in Oakville, and Kevin, you've been outside for Stormwatch. the majority of these major systems, and I know that you love the snow, and you're kind of digging the cold temperatures this morning too, aren't you? Studio, Have I'll take. Day. Well, I'm going to take the whole box. My dad's not getting any of those. <laughs> he's not, he's not getting Thanks, any. Kevin. All right. Well, she should be a spokesperson for winter. She'll love this next system. This Texas low. It's drawing a lot of moisture from the Gulf. Like Kevin was mentioning, it'll impact the GTA around 10 to midnight tonight, continue until about noon tomorrow. Then the snow will start to taper off. There's good news and bad news scenarios with this snow. The good news is that it's that light, fluffy snow, The bad, so it's easy to shovel. The bad news is that it's going to be blowing around with winds gusting between 40 and 60 kilometers an hour. So when the winds shift more of a northeasterly direction, after the bulk of the moisture moves out, we are going to see lake enhancement from Lake Ontario in through the St. Catharines, Niagara, Hamilton region. And that is why we are going to be seeing that heavier bullet of 15 to 25 centimeters. Oakville, right on the cusp of this 15 mark uh, through Toronto. Toronto, downtown core through Guelph and Waterloo and Kitchener, we're looking at 10 to 15. Further north than that, less mounts. Now, it's very different than the storm that we just saw over the weekend, where the main band of precipitation was just north of the 401. All of this is going to be happening to the south. So, needless to say, Tom, a messy commute tomorrow morning and a messy commute tomorrow afternoon. Well, and you should know, because I did a point forecast at your place, you're going to get 25 centimeters right over your house. <laughs> So it is going to be messy for you. Now, if you're heading out right now, it is a storm. Well, I may be getting 25 centimeters, Tom, but don't forget, you already agreed to come over and shovel it. 
so <laughs> minus five tomorrow feeling closer to minus 12 with all that snow and then thursday friday the sunshine returns friday's the coldest day of the week we're looking at wind chills feeling like minus 18 and we could get clipped by an atlantic storm for sunday giving us a little bit more snowfall we are in Stormwatch for this Tuesday. It is February the 4th. We're talking about an impending storm that's going to be bringing us anywhere from 15 to 25 centimeters in the hardest hit areas. I know you think it's going to fall right on my house for some reason. You're getting 25 right on your house in Oakville. Why do you think that? Well, because I saw the line. It comes right up and your house is right there. So 25 centimeters in your driveway. Just in my driveway. You're going to be shoveling. Well, probably your neighbor gets a little bit too. <laughs> but either way, it's going to be nasty on the south side of the lake. What so. did I do to you? <laughs> well, no, but you keep on saying I'm going to come down and fix your snow, do your snow. Kevin Yard is joining okay. us in Oakville this morning. And uh, Kevin, maybe you can help Tom with the 25 centimeters that I'm going to get on, you know, my house and my house only. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. I think people, uh, well... I don't know. We're kind of 50-50 on people loving the snow and not so much. We do have another system on the way, so people that love the snow get excited because we are going to see significant amounts with this. This text is low. It's drawing a lot of moisture from the Gulf. It will track its way north and east. The snow will start to impact the GTA around 10 o'clock tonight, in, well, in between 10 and midnight. And then we're going to continue to see a fairly decent amount of precipitation until about noon tomorrow, and that's when it's going to start to taper off. So your morning commute, yeah. It's going to be a mess. That's the best way I can describe it. The winds are going to be gusting at about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. So there's good and bad with this snow. The good is that it's going to be that light, fluffy snow. So it's going to be really easy to shovel. The bad is that when we've got 15 to 25 centimeters of it blowing around with the gusts, 50 to 60, it's going to be bad for visibility, poor for whiteouts. We are going to see a bullet of about 15 to 25 centimeters with that lake enhancement coming off of Ontario for areas just south of the lake and then 10 to 15 centimeters for the downtown core. Not advisable for travel tomorrow, Tom. No, it's good. Well, we are going to see cold temperatures continuing for the remainder of the week, but Friday is going to be our coldest day. Minus 9 feeling like minus 18. Now, after all the snow tomorrow, we'll see a little bit of sunshine as we get closer to the weekend. We could get clipped by an Atlantic storm, which could give us a little bit more snow on Sunday. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Tuesday, it is the 4th of February. Big storm on the way. What is this, Vanna? Stormwatch, <laughs> once again. Yeah, at six out of the last eight weekends, we've actually been in Stormwatch. So this storm is different because it's coming right in the middle of the week, and that is really going to affect the community. Chris St. Clair was so busy on the weekends, he's gone to Vancouver. He's left us. He left us and went to Vancouver. <laughs> and when you know what, the temperatures are plunging in Vancouver, too. Oh, so he took it with that's him. That's karma right there. there. <laughs> All right, well, we do have very cold temperatures this morning. So before we get into the nitty-gritty of the storm details, here's Kevin. He's in Oakville. And Kevin, today, you certainly need to bundle up. Where is your toque? Kevin, you should be paying it forward. You should buy some people some coffee there this morning. All right. Well, as Kevin was mentioning the timing of the system, it is going to affect the GTA through the overnight tonight throughout the day tomorrow. Two big things about this system that's different from what we saw over the weekend. The first one is that our temperatures are colder. It's all snow. The second thing is that the areas that are going to be impacted are going to be further south. This is not going to be a north of the 401 kind of system. This is going to be a south of the 401 kind of system. It is going to continue throughout the day on Wednesday. By about midday, the snow will start to taper off and we'll be out of the bulk of the moisture by the evening. But we do have fairly strong winds. We're going to see gusts coming in from a northeasterly direction at about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. And that is going to contribute to the lake enhancement around the shores of Erie and Ontario. So Oakville through Hamilton through St. Catharines and through Grimsby. 25 centimeters, not out of the question. Areas a little bit further north than that. I mean, we're still going to see the potential for 10 to 15 for the city of Toronto. That's still substantial, especially in the middle of the week when everybody's trying to get everywhere. So it's not only going to affect your morning commute, but your afternoon commute as well. Tom, what advice would you give to drivers tomorrow? Well, with Emily. Minus 5 tomorrow, so it's still going to be cold for our stormy day. Feeling closer to minus 12 when you factor in the wind. The coldest day of the week, however, is going to be Friday. It'll feel more like minus 18 with that wind. And then Sunday, we can see a little bit more snow as we get clipped by a storm moving into the Atlantic Canada. The old... Thanks for joining us. Uh, it's nice to be here, and it's nice to have you here, and we have got lots of stuff happening. I'm just hearing Highway 427 is being closed at Highway 7. 
because of icy conditions, lots of crashes up there. So Southbound 427 closed. I we said we'll update that coming up. That's probably going to be one of many for the next couple of days. Absolutely. We are in storm watch. We have an impending winter storm on the way for tonight and into tomorrow morning. It's not only going to be a nuisance for your morning commute, but your afternoon commute. We'll break it all down for you in just a moment. But first, Kevin's at Tim Hortons in Oakville. He should be buying everybody coffees, I think. Kevin, did you hear that? Tom is like to give you 20 bucks to buy everybody coffee. Right. Okay, so there you go. She's from South America. Yeah, it's warm down there. Back inside you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. I loved her. No. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, that's happening. We've got a winter storm on the way. It is really picking up strength. It's a Texas low. It's going to pull from the Gulf for a lot of moisture, and it's going to bring us heavy snow through some areas. It will start to impact the GTA around 10 o'clock tonight, in between 10 and midnight, and then it will continue to impact the city of Toronto until about noon tomorrow, and that's when it's going to start to taper off. Good news, bad news scenarios of this snow. The good news is that it's going to be that light, fluffy snow, so it's going to be very easy to shovel. The bad news, it's going to be that light, fluffy snow, which means it's going to be blowing around, causing poor visibility, potential whiteouts. Winds are going to be gusting anywhere between 40 and 60 kilometers an hour. They're going to be coming off the lake, so we're going to see lake enhancement just along the shores of Erie and Ontario. So Oakville, Hamilton, uh, water down in through, um, say, Catharines, Niagara. Everybody's going to see that heavier bullet where the city of Toronto, Guelph, Kitchener, Waterloo, we're still looking at 10 to 15. It is going to be substantial, but areas a little bit further north. And then if you're in Uxbridge or Orangeville or Newmarket, you're looking at about five, possibly 10 centimeters of snow. So everybody's really going to get impacted by this. It's just going to be snowfall amounts that are going to be different. Talk more about your weekend in just a moment, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Well, it is going to remain cold. We've got temperatures around minus 5 for tomorrow, feeling closer to minus 12. And then Friday is actually going to be our coldest day. So we're going to see the return to sunshine. Temperatures, however, are going to feel like minus 18 through the city of Toronto. And then we could see a little bit more snow just to top off our weekend on Hi there, we are in Stormwatch. We have a fairly significant storm on the way through the GTA starting tonight and into tomorrow. I'll break it down for you in just a few moments, but first, let's take a look back at yesterday, the calm before the storm, if you will. Morning. Those 12 hours, so from about 12 midnight to noon tomorrow, that is going to be uh, the most important part of this next storm system because that's where we're going to see the majority of the snow. So by tonight, if you've got overnight commute plans, if you've got early morning commute plans, give yourself lots of extra time because the roads are going to start to become snow covered by around midnight through the GTA. This system continues to track its way east and north. It's a Texas low. It's going to draw a lot of moisture from the Gulf as it tracks its way. Uh, by about midday, like I said, the snow will have tapered off, but the winds are still going to be there. We're going to see sustained winds at about 30 to 40 kilometers an hour gusting could see up to 60 kilometers an hour. So that is going to be an issue when it comes to blowing and drifting snow. There's good news and there's bad news with this type of snow. The good news is that it's that light kind of fluffy snow, so it's easy to shovel. The bad news is that it's that light kind of fluffy snow, which means it's going to get picked up by the wind very easily, blow around, cause very slippery road conditions. Even after a road's been cleared, there's going to be more snow on it. And whiteouts, poor visibility, issue for commuters, anybody traveling. So snowfall forecast, we're looking at about 15 to 20 centimeters widespread through the Oakville, Hamilton, uh, Fontail over towards St. Catharines into the Niagara region. That's where we're going to see kind of our heaviest bullet. Uh, down towards the states, they're looking closer to 30 centimeters in some areas. Uh, Toronto, we're in the 10 to 15. So regardless, it is going to be heavy wherever you get it. It is going to be a nuisance to get around wherever you are. So just really Take your time tomorrow. That's going to be the big story. Just give yourself lots of extra commute time. Here's a look at our winds, and they're going to be coming in from that northeasterly direction by tomorrow um, about midday. They're going to switch, so that's why we're going to see that lake enhancement down towards the Niagara region. So that's why those areas are going to get hit hardest with lots of snow. The winds will continue in through Wednesday evening and into Thursday morning, so keep that in mind. It's not going to be smooth sailing after the storm passes through. We're still going to be left with that drifting and blowing snow, which should certainly be an issue. Here's Tom now with traffic. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Tuesday. It is the 4th of February. We are in 
Stormwatch. Again. <laughs> I'd like to thank Donna. She just gave us a quick call on the storm line yep. talking about the very cold temperatures in Kitchener. It is absolutely freezing well, there. Well, Kitchener She owned, said, can we turn the heat up? They own that temperature, really. Those minus 20s, mm -hmm. minus 24s. Kitchener, it's all yours. No, Donna's saying that she wants us to turn the heat up. Oh, okay. Uh, thermostats over there, I'll go and do that right now. Donna, don't listen I'll to get her. her. I'll get her. <laughs> I'll start a little global warming. I'll open the door. <laughs> All right, let's check in with Kevin. He's in Oakville this right. morning. Uh, Kevin, you were saying that a lot of people are going on vacation. I think it's this time of year where people want to escape these types of temperatures. Emily's giving you $60 to buy coffee. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we do have a storm on the way, so it looks like we could have another indoor recess tomorrow morning. School bus cancellations? Maybe. There could be a bit of an issue when it comes to your commute. Impacting in the Toronto area about 10 to between 10 and midnight tonight, continuing throughout the morning. So between 12 midnight and noon tomorrow, those 12 hours, that is going to be when our uh, most serious snow comes in. When it moves out, it is going to be leaving quite a bit of snow behind. There's good and bad with this snow. The good is that it's really light and fluffy and it's going to look very pretty. It's going to be easy to shovel. The bad is that it's light and fluffy. So when you throw in winds gusting anywhere between 50 and 60 kilometers an hour, it's going to be blowing around, causing poor visibility for motorists. So your morning commute, messy. Your evening commute, messy. Even though the snow will have stopped by the evening, it's still going to be blowing and drifting. Heavier snowfall accumulations, we're looking at about 15 centimeters for Oakville, 20 centimeters for Hamilton and in through St. Catharines. Still downtown Toronto in the bullet for 10 to 15. It is going to be a significant storm. The last Eight, six out of eight weekends we've been in storm watch. This is going to be uh, a little worse because it's happening midweek when everybody's trying to get to work and trying to get home. So give yourself lots of extra travel time. And I'm assuming today, Tom, that the roads are going to start being treated before this system starts to come in. Well, temperatures are still going to be cold throughout the day tomorrow. We're looking at minus five feeling like minus 12. The coldest day of the week, however, is not going to be until Friday, where we're looking at minus 9, feeling like minus 18. Over the weekend, we're going to get kind of clipped on Sunday by a system that's moving out towards Atlantic Canada. That could bring us some light snow. Six more weeks of winter and 20 centimeters of snow. Well, it's one of those days. We just wanted to bring you a little more winter weather. We know you haven't had enough of it yet. Oh boy! A oh lot boy. of people are embracing this weather, Tom. A lot of people like skiing. They and say they and say they are. I, I, I met an active, uh, a real active skier yesterday. She's a teacher. She says, "Oh, another snow day. I can hardly wait." See, she meant it. Uh, she wasn't going skiing. She was staying inside. Well, still. But snow still, day, snow another day. snow day. Yes, maybe. We maybe. Do, we do have significant snow on the way, and we're going to break it down for you in just a few moments. But first, we're going to check in with Kevin. He's joining us from beautiful Oakville, Ontario. All the people that Kevin's been talking to are actually going on vacation. And Kevin, <laughs> did I mention to you that I was going to Antigua next week? There's got to be one. I'm sure there is, and it's covered with snow and ice. <laughs> All right, well, we do have this large Texas low picking up moisture from the Gulf, moving in through the GTA by tonight and into tomorrow morning. It's going to be a mess. Heaviest snowfall is going to be from about 6 a.m. to noon, but that 12-hour window from midnight till noon tomorrow, that's going to be the worst for travel. We're going to see not significant snowfall accumulations per hour, but in total, we're looking at about 15 to 20 centimeters for the heavier hit areas, so through St. Catharines, the Niagara region, Hamilton, even up through Oakville, 15 centimeters, not out of the question. Northeasterly winds are certainly going to contribute to those high snowfall totals. We are going to see that lake enhancement. Downtown Toronto, 10 to 15, not out of the question. Tomorrow morning's commute, Tom. Well, let's just say this. You're going to be very busy. <laughs> it is going to be busy. Busy now. Well, it is going to stay cold. We're looking at minus 5 tomorrow, feeling like minus 12. So with all that snow and you're going to get out there and you're going to shovel it, uh, temperatures are going to be chilly. Coldest day of the week, Friday, minus 9, feeling like minus 18. Could get clipped by a system moving out towards Blanche, Canada, so a little bit more snow for us on Sunday. Hi there, thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is the 4th of February. It is cold and we have got a storm on the way. We're looking at about 5 to 30 centimeters. I know it's widespread and I'm going to show you the map of who's getting what coming up in just a few moments. But first, 
Let's check in with Kevin Yart. He joins us in beautiful Oakville, Ontario this morning. He's been hanging out at a Tim Hortons. So far, Kevin, I know you've received free coffee. People are talking to you about the vacations that they're going on. People just want to get away from these cold temperatures. But I know you, Kevin, and I know you are embracing winter. I think you're not the norm. Well, I said, good work, Kevin. Thank you. Absolutely. It is, for sure. All right. So there you go. See, if you need any shoveling done, this is the man. We'll get your number afterwards. Okay. Just, good. just kidding. <laughs> okay. Back inside the studio. We're live in Oakville. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, he can go to my house. It's my driveway. No problem. Big Texas low, pulling moisture from the Gulf, moving in through the GTA in between 10 and midnight tonight. So that's when we're going to start to be impacted. It will continue through our morning commute. In between about 6 and noon, tomorrow morning is when we're going to see the bulk of the moisture. The winds are going to start to pick up. They're going to be coming in from a northeasterly direction. So we're going to see some light enhancement down towards the Niagara region and through Hamilton. Oakville could see 15 centimeters. Toronto, we're looking at 10 to 15. So everybody is getting substantial snow with this. It's going to be blowing around. The good news is that it's going to be light and fluffy, so it's going to be easy to shovel. The bad news with winds gusting to 60 kilometers an hour, causing whiteouts. It's not going to be great for travel. Here's Tom now with your commute. Up now, southbound Parkway jamming up all the way down. Long range now with Emily. Temperatures are staying cold throughout the remainder of the week, and by Friday, that's going to be our coldest day. We're looking at minus 9, feeling like minus 18. Could see a little bit more snow over the weekend. Sunday could get clipped by a system that's moving out towards Atlantic Canada. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It is the 4th of February. We are in Stormwatch yet again. We've got another system coming in through southern Ontario, bringing us a substantial amount of snow. Yes, 20 odd, in fact, about 25 centimeters on your house alone in Oakville. That, I mean, that's the point forecasting. He's fibbing. It's not happening. Yeah, you're going to get... Oakville could see 15. Uh, at least. But not 25 at my house, Tom. Uh, you never know. With blowing, drifting, you could be drifted right in there. If I'm not at work tomorrow, you know why. That's it. <laughs> Snow day. Okay. All right, Kevin here joins us in Oakville this morning. And Kevin, you've been at the Tim Hortons drive, so you've been talking to people about this winter, if they're tired of it, if they love it. <laughs> A lot of people are going south. What do people say? Thanks, Kevin. It's that Texas low that's going to be responsible for all of our snow. It's picking up some moisture from the Gulf. It will track its way north and east. It's not only going to be the snow, it's going to be the winds. Yeah, they're going to be pretty strong at times, and that's going to cause all the snow to be blowing and drifting. So there's good and there's bad with this type of snow. The good is that it's going to be really, well, really, relatively easy to shovel because it's going to be that light, fluffy stuff. The bad news with this snow is that because it's the light, fluffy stuff, you throw in winds that are sustained at about 30 to 40 kilometers an hour, gusting upwards of 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. It's going to be blowing around, causing blowing, drifting, snow. The potential is there for whiteouts. And then you throw in some lake enhancement. And that's why Hamilton through Niagara and St. Catharines, that's where we're going to see these heavier amounts. It's because of the lake enhancement. Now, the bulk of the moisture is going to ease around the noon hour. So from 6 a.m. to noon, that's kind of our heaviest bullet. And then the winds are going to pick up. So that's where we're going to see that northeasterly wind causing the lake enhancement, causing the heavier snowfall amount. So not only is your morning commute going to be a bit of a nuisance, this is going to drag on into the afternoon and evening. Now, speaking of today's commute, here's Tom now with traffic. See how we're doing. A lot of people heading away out of the country. Absolutely. About 30 million people in Canada, about 20 million are in the Caribbean. Or something like that so it's gonna be busy down in the Caribbean that is for sure lucky you uh, the long range now with Emily I'm gonna be joining those 20 million people yay Antigua here I come it can't come soon enough with these temperatures minus 5 tomorrow feeling like minus 12 the coldest day of the week is going to be Friday we're looking at minus 9 feeling like minus 18 we do have the potential to see a little bit more snow come Sunday. We're going to get clipped kind of by an Atlantic system that's going to be moving toward our east. So we could see some light snow with that. Temperatures remaining below seasonal. Like a cannon blast. Make that several cannon blasts. To Ecuador now, where people 140 kilometers away said this volcano sounded like a cannon. 10 cannons to be exact. That's how many explosions were counted on Monday. But it was mostly noise and ash, plenty of ash. A cloud shot up four kilometers. Now that's unlike Saturday when a series of explosions were followed by ash and lava flow. 
Floods were expected, and that's what happened after wind and high tide combined along the western coast of the UK. Pumps are going to get flood water off a stretch from Devon and Cornwall into Wales. In 2006, Wyerton Willie predicted an early spring. What he didn't say is before that, there would be record-breaking snow. More on that in this look back in weather history. Stormwatch coverage continues. Now here's Tom with traffic. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. Our storm watch coverage continues. It's Tuesday. It is February the 4th. I'm Emily Vukovic. We have got a storm that's going to be moving in through southern Ontario starting tonight into tomorrow morning and pretty much continuing all throughout the day tomorrow. Large Texas low. It's going to pick up a lot of moisture from the Gulf. It's going to track its way north and east and it's going to start to impact the GTA by about 10 o'clock tonight. So in between 10 and 12, that's when we're going to start to see the snow impacting our drive. And then by tomorrow morning, around 6 a.m., in between 6 and 12, that's going to be kind of our heaviest bullet of snow. A lot of moisture is associated with the storm, and it's also going to be fairly windy. So this system will track its way out by about Wednesday afternoon, early afternoon. But because we're going to see winds coming in from a northeasterly direction, we are going to be seeing the snow being picked up by the winds, blowing and drifting, causing poor visibility on many roadways. And when you've got 15 to 20 centimeters of snow blowing around, it is not going to be pleasant for travel. So we're looking at about 15 centimeters of snow for Oakville and in through Hamilton. Uh, down towards the Niagara region and in through St. Catharines, closer to 20 centimeters. And it's all because of those northeasterly winds, that lake enhancement that we're seeing. Downtown Toronto, we're still in the bullet for about 10 to 15 centimeters. Now, there's good and bad things about this snowfall. The good news is that it's going to be light and fluffy, so it's going to be easy to shovel. The bad news is that it's going to be light and fluffy and blowing around with all the winds that are going to be gusting 50 to 60 kilometers an hour, and that's where we're going to see those whiteout conditions. Now, it's a lot different than the system we saw over the weekend where the snow was heavy and wet, so there are different kinds of snowflakes, and Jacqueline Whittle explains. Surprise with what you see. Thanks, Jacqueline. Now, with 15, potentially 20 centimeters of snow coming, we'd love to see your pictures and video. Uh, upload them. right into the long range forecast. It's still going to be cold tomorrow with all of that snow. We're looking at minus 5, feeling like minus 12 when you factor in the wind. By Friday, however, that's going to be the coldest day of the week. So we've got all this snow coming in and then cold temperatures behind it. We're looking at minus 9, but feeling like minus 18 when you factor in the wind. At least it's going to be sunny, right? Now, we do have the potential for a little bit more snow over the weekend. There is a system brewing for Atlantic Canada, and we could just get clipped by that for Sunday. So we could see a few isolated flurries, not amounting to much, but still enough to make a road slick after tomorrow's snowfall. Our Stormwatch coverage continues. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is the 4th of February. It is cold and we have got some snow on the way. Enjoy today, get out, enjoy that sunshine because by tonight we have got a system moving in that could bring some communities up to 25 centimeters of snow. Now before we get into the nitty gritty and show you who's getting what, where, and when, let's check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us in Oakville this morning. Kevin, you've been hanging out at the Tim Hortons and what's the general consensus of people? Are they okay with the fact that Come we still here. have six more weeks of winter what? or are they ready for it to end and are they heading off somewhere warm and sunny instead as it's coming in all right thanks so much Kevin now it's this large Texas low that's pulling up moisture from the Gulf and it's really going to start to impact us by uh, about 10 o'clock tonight in between 10 and midnight that's when we're going to start to see the first signs of the snow and then it will continue to be intense throughout your morning commute heaviest snow from about 6 a.m. to noon so it's really going to affect your morning rush Please give yourself lots of extra travel time. This low is going to track its way north and east. It's going to leave behind cold temperatures and a northeasterly wind that's going to be gusting up to about 60 kilometers an hour. There's good and there's bad with this snow. The good, it's light and fluffy, easy to shovel. The bad, it's light and fluffy. 
when you factor it into our winds, it is going to be blowing around, causing blowing and drifting snow. The potential for whiteouts is there. So again, give yourself lots of extra travel time. Oak fills in line for about 15 centimeters. In through St. Catharines and Niagara, we could see closer to 20. City of Toronto, 10 to 15 centimeters. Now, if you do have pictures or video, or if you want to report active weather at Emily TWN. The winds, they're certainly going to be a big story tomorrow. They're going to start to pick up through the overnight tonight down towards the southwest. And notice these arrows. They're switching to more of a northeasterly direction. That is why we're going to see that lake enhancement coming off of Ontario in through the Niagara-Hamilton area. Now, they switch back to more of a northwesterly direction by tomorrow evening. But we're still going to see a lot of snow on the ground. It's that light, fluffy stuff. So you shovel it. Ten minutes later, you go back outside and go, what? I thought I just shoveled it. <laughs> no, not the case. Long-range forecast. We're looking at minus 5 for tomorrow, so it's going to be cold with all that snow. Feeling closer to minus 12. The coldest day of the week, however, is going to be on Friday. Minus 9, feeling more like minus 18. Come Sunday, we could get clipped by an Atlantic system, so we could see a, a few more flakes of snow and temperatures still remaining below seasonal. Another storm on the way to southern Ontario, so it's no wonder that's what everybody's talking about on social media. Another storm coming. The skiing just keeps getting better and better. I love it when people put a silver lining on it. Take a look at this picture from Ontario Travel. This is from Ontario Roads, and you can see uh, it says, Snow, snow, go away. Don't come back another day. Ha! Huh, I like that. Next tweet. Oh, look, a special weather statement just in time for my birthday. Somebody's not loving the snow. And Cuba tomorrow. Glad to be getting out of the cold and snow just in time, too. Another blast coming tonight. Where's Kevin Yard? Discover your story. Another storm on the way to southern Ontario, so it's no wonder that's what everybody's talking about on social media. Another storm coming. The skiing just keeps getting better and better. I love it when people put a silver lining on it. Take a look at this picture from Ontario Travel. This is from Ontario Roads, and you can see uh, it says, Snow, snow, go away. Don't come back another day. Ha! Huh, I like that. Next tweet. Oh, look, a special weather statement just in time for my birthday. Somebody's not loving the snow. And Cuba tomorrow. Glad to be getting out of the cold and snow just in time, too. Another blast coming tonight. The Weather Network's team of meteorologists and weather presenters. Another storm on the way to southern Ontario, so it's no wonder that's what everybody's talking about on social media. Another storm coming. The skiing just keeps getting better and better. I love it when people put a silver lining on it. Take a look at this picture from Ontario Travel. This is from Ontario Roads, and you can see uh, it says, Snow, snow, go away. Don't come back another day. Ha! Huh, I like that. Next tweet. Oh, look, a special weather statement just in time for my birthday. Somebody's not loving the snow. And Cuba tomorrow. Glad to be getting out of this cold and snow just in time, too. Another blast coming tonight. Close. Another storm on the way to southern Ontario, so it's no wonder that's what everybody's talking about on social media. Another storm coming. The skiing just keeps getting better and better. I love it when people put a silver lining on it. Take a look at this picture from Ontario Travel. This is from Ontario Roads, and you can see uh, it says, Snow, snow, go away. Don't come back another day. Ha! Huh, I like that. Next tweet. Oh, look, a special weather statement just in time for my birthday. Somebody's not loving the snow. And Cuba tomorrow. Glad to be getting out of this cold and snow just in time, too. Another blast coming tonight. Where's Kevin Yard? Find out. Another storm on the way to southern Ontario, so it's no wonder that's what everybody's talking about on social media. Another storm coming. The skiing just keeps getting better and better. I love it when people put a silver lining on it. Take a look at this picture from Ontario Travel. This is from Ontario Roads, and you can see uh, it says, Snow, snow, go away. Don't come back another day. Ha! Huh, I like that. Next tweet. Oh, look, a special weather statement just in time for my birthday. Somebody's not loving the snow. And Cuba tomorrow. Glad to be getting out of this cold and snow just in time, too. Another blast coming tonight. The Weather Network's 